So this is a set that is so new on Amazon that there actually weren't any reviews. So I kind of got went against my, my own general policy of waiting until there's some reviews. And I decided to just pull the trigger on these um, and see what they were like. These are by GC Quill. Um, GC Quill, it looks to me when I went and looked in their store that they do mostly those um, uh, fancy feather quill pens. Um, so I'm going to assume this is their attempt to get into the colored pencil arena. Um, these are 150 colors. I believe that these are wax based, um, but I'm not 100% sure at this point. Um, they actually come in a very sturdy box. And the image on the box, um, you've probably seen this image on other sets before. I think this was um, maybe on the Shuttle Art set. Um, but it's just an image that I'm sure is like one of those royalty-free images that they, they share around. Um, so inside of the box, it actually has your pencils and it comes with two um, little sharpeners. Uh, there wasn't a color chart, like a do-it-yourself color chart that I saw in here. Um, these ones are, have a very unusual uh, lift out. It's like an additional piece of plastic um, that is hooked on the edges. It actually works fairly well. Um, I did open this, these up. They were uh, in shrink wrap. Um, and when I had first opened this, this first uh, set of pencils was all jumbled about uh, because there apparently was a little bit of room um, that allowed them to move. But it didn't look like any of them were damaged. So you've got one, two, and three uh, trays in here. And then as you can see, this is actually a very sturdy box. Um, and the trays do fit in very snugly. The pencils themselves all appear to be in good condition. Put back in there. But the first thing that struck me when I looked at these is that these pencils actually look almost identical to the Ruffini, uh, Marco Ruffini pencil which is an extremely inexpensive brand that uh, I tried several years ago, um, back when they were actually it took like a week or so to get them. They must have shipped them right from China. And I actually had, had to let them air out for a very long time because they smelled so bad that I couldn't even use them. Um, the smell obviously is dissipated now, but I still haven't used them very much. Um, they're not really bad, but they're not really great. So when I saw that, I was a little concerned. Maybe these were not going to be very good. Um, but if we compare the pencils, you can actually see that, and this uh, Marco Ruffini really hasn't been um, sharpened much beyond what, the way that it came. But you can see that these artist color pencil, which is all that they, they say on them, um, they seem to be a little thicker than the Marco Ruffini, just a little bit. Um, the leads look like they are about uh, the same diameter, which I believe is three millimeters. So the next thing we want to see is how do these pencils actually perform. All right, so um, I grabbed a page out of a coloring book, since that's what most people um, are buying their colored pencils for these days that are not professional artists. And I have to say I was not impressed. In fact, not impressed to the point where I just stopped working with the pencils. Um, mind you, it was only a few minutes, but um, what I, I found is, in order to get the, the deep dark color, I actually had to press very hard um, and the pencil became very slick very quickly. Um, just trying to layer a couple of colors, uh, again, it, it 
filled the tooth up on this this cheap paper pretty fast. Um, I'm going to say that these are almost certainly a wax-based pencil, um, but with a, a lot of wax in them. But, um, you know, you can't always judge a pencil by what it does on coloring book paper because obviously coloring book paper is not the greatest paper in the world. Um, and you know, this is no exception. It has barely any tooth. So my next test um, on any pencil is to see what does it do on a higher quality actual sketching paper. Um, so you can see here that, you know, I was able to get several layers and a richer color um, on the better quality paper that has tooth. But um, just as when I was working on the cheaper coloring book paper, um, I will say that there's a few complaints I have. Um, there's little scratchy bits um, in two out of four pencils I've tried already. Um, you can actually see, hopefully on here, you see the little scratch marks maybe um, right there, a little bit of it here. Um, that was actually made by something that was in the pencil lead. Um, so although they do perform better on a quality paper, and here just a quick demonstration. Um, this is a higher quality paper with good tooth. It's an actual sketching paper. Um, you can see that, you know, they, they do pretty decent. Um, and let's do with the layering. But now you can see as I start to do more pressure, it it's getting slick. Well, you may not be able to see that. I can feel it. It's getting slick pretty fast. Um, so my, my take on these pencils would be that they probably would not be the best pencils to get for uh, coloring books if, you know, that's what you're looking for. Um, but for doing sketches in a quality sketchbook of your own, um, sketching on a higher quality paper, you know, doing artistic things like that for fun, these would work. Um, they're not going to be my favorite pencil. I, I won't kid you there. Uh, I would say that I could only give these like a three out of five stars just because of the, the characteristics I mentioned. Scratchy bits in the lead. Um, there seems to be a lot of wax versus pigment in these. Um, and they probably for that reason, since there's so much wax, they do tend to fill up the the tooth of the paper very quickly. So I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of layers with these. But as a first step pencil for, in particular, younger artists that are just starting out, you know, kids that are, are shown an, an interest in doing their own sketching and drawing, if you got them this set of pencils and a good sketchbook um, that had quality paper in it, they'd be able to to get a, a start that wouldn't be as bad as what they would if you just got them a set of the cheap Crayola or um, what is that uh, Crazy Art, I think is the brand of cheap pencils that they, they sometimes carry around uh, back to school time. So while they're not 100% horrible, um, they're definitely not excellent. Uh, so three stars on these pencils from the GC Quill, 150, supposedly premium colored pencils, but I'm sorry, I have to beg to differ with them on that, um, especially at the introductory price that they're at on Amazon. It's, it's a little bit high, I would say. Um, these pencils definitely, in my opinion, should come down in in price point um, because they're just not worth the money that they are asking for them right now. And uh, well, you know, we all have to learn a lesson sometimes the hard way a few times. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I went against my own um, instincts and I got them before anybody else had a chance to review them. So hopefully this review will save anyone um, buying them who was thinking that they actually are a higher quality artist's pencil 
they simply are not they're not so bad that you won't be able to have some enjoyable sketching with them but I wouldn't try to use them in coloring books because I just don't think they're going to work very well.